Let's start off by choosing a route. If you're already familiar with RailWorks, this won't be any surprise to you. However, I've created a very simple route. Rather than choosing free play, go to the scenario. You'll notice that this particular route only has a free roam scenario, but you could choose any scenario as your starting place. And don't click, click the play, but go for the edit. Right now we're looking at the free roam scenario, but we need to create a brand new scenario. To do this, we're going to go to the toolbox flyout, pin it so that it stays in position. and then go down to the browser flyout pin that one in position and we're going to be looking at this orange icon right here click there and we'll see that there are three different varieties of scenario we could make a new free roam scenario our standard scenario right there and something called a timetable scenario we're going to be working on a standard scenario Clicking there, we can put our marker anywhere on our route. Click, and we'll get the message, do we want to save changes to the current scenario? We can answer no, because that's the free roam scenario. After a brief restart, we're now looking at our new standard scenario, and there's some information that we are required to fill in. Using the right hand flyout, we're going to give this scenario a name. A name is required for each scenario in RailWorks. If you fail to fill this box in, you'll get an error message. The next field down is the description that you see on that startup scenario choosing page the briefing which we're filling in now is the thing you see when you start to run the scenario the next fields are the dates day month and year that the scenario apparently is supposed to take place in. It's rather meaningless, but we're going to substitute 2010. Going to skip the rating field, and this is the duration field. It doesn't actually have any impact, but this next one does. It's the start time. 10 a.m. is the default. However, we're going to change it to 3 p.m. by typing 1500 hours. You can also alter the minutes. I'm going to add 12 minutes, so the time for this scenario will be 3.12 p.m. Here's the weather. You can choose whichever weather you want your scenario to be run in. I'm going to choose U.S. Sunny because it provides a nice blue sky. The last field is the season. We can choose any season we want. Since this particular route doesn't have any seasonal scenery, it really didn't matter. Well, you may notice that when we come back up, that looking at the route, there's no train. Anytime you start a new scenario of any variety, the rolling stock is wiped out and you're starting from scratch. So our first task here is to add an engine. We're going to go over to the browser, which we pinned out previously. Click on the icon for the engines and tenders. 
which is located right here. Your list will look somewhat different than mine because I've added equipment. I'm going to choose the SD40 BNSNF Heritage model. Left click on the name. Move the arrow out into our window and the engine will appear. Move your arrow over the track and the tra engine will snap to the track. Left click and you hear that sound that indicates placement. A duplicate is created, but we don't want another one, so right click. Our engine is facing the wrong direction for our particular scenario, but that's an easy fix. Click on the engine with left click, and an orange double-headed arrow appears over the top of the engine. Click once on that, and the engine reverses. Click anywhere else and the arrow clears. Now it's time to add some rolling stock behind the engine. Click on the rolling stock icon and again your list will look different than mine. I think I'd like to add two tank cars. So I'm scrolling down and let's do the silver ones. Clicking on the tank car silver bring it up against the engine and left click another duplicate is formed left click again and pull off any extra equipment and right quit click we have our two cars now i'd like to add a couple of box cars left click there and bring it on to the track Nudge it up against my tank car, left click, and I can left click again for the next one. But I don't want a third, so I'll right click. There we go. We've created the scenario and we've created the engine and equipment. However, we're far from being done. So I'll look for you in part three.